So, just as we spoke about yesterday, before we begin today, bring one hand to the area of the heart. And I often like to very gently kind of rest or stroke the hand down. And I have this line on, on my vest today, which really is the line of Ranmai, the heart line, major yin meridian in the body. It's that sense of allowing the heart to settle in and down. And so the energy can stay nicely grounded in the lower dantian, so rooted. Let's begin by regulating just once today. In the first form, presenting the pestle number one. Going forwards, breathing out. Breathing in. You can imagine not just your physical body moving, but the idea of an energetic body or an aura pulsing. Go slower or faster than me, but tending towards calm and slow. Last one. Presenting pestle number two. Yeah, beautiful. How might you embody that sense of calmness, moving meditation? Just one more. Really take in all the sensations that you can feel, big and small. Hands turn down and clear some space in front of the heart or within. Regulating. Right hand comes behind, plucking the star. Left hand out. And follow the hand with the eyes. Imagine holding the starlight. And filling in with a kind of magic. Change hands.
filling with starlight and magic. And one more each side. If thoughts of, am I doing it right? Am I getting something wrong? If those thoughts arise, just very gently, very kindly acknowledge them. Just allow yourself to trust in the feeling of the movement. Follow what feels good. Searching more for feeling than an outward physical expression. filling for the last time. Release, regulating and harmonizing energy, sending the energy down into the lower dantian. Left foot steps forward, little baby warrior two steps. We extend, reach for your nine cows. Pull in right hand behind, left hand to left shoulder. And I always wonder, is it four cows in front and five behind or the other way? <laughs> Maybe you have a sense, I don't. Which one is stronger? Perhaps you notice this movement can feel a little awkward in the back leg when you're first learning it. But maybe you found an angle which works best for you with the back foot this last week. You can experiment. One more. As you release, stepping back in, taking a deep breath, displaying claws and feathers. Take a strong breath out as you display the claws. Find your wings and display exhibitionist. <laughs> Exhaling. Really lean forward. Yeah, that's it. Palms face down, that's it. Just one more. Yeah. 
nine ghosts. The left hand pulls up first, opening your sabre or your sword. <sighs> Switch the arms. The left hand makes a fist like you're holding a sword behind the back. Right fingertips to the ear. Turn and lift. And curl and fall just as far as feels good in your spine. I'm taking three on each side. There was a question as to how many times to repeat each movement. It depends. It depends how much time you have. But often these movements are repeated seven times, not all of them. Seven is a, a good range to aim for if you have more time. Let's switch. But equally, sometimes this form, these 12 movements, the tour is one flowing continuous sequence where you only do one repetition of each movement. So that's also valid. But it's better to really learn the forms like this individually, repeating them at first, before you string them together. Last one. Release. And settling or sinking the chi. Chen. From here, stepping out wide. Buffet time. Send the knees out, breathe in, a third of the way down, breathe out, beautiful everyone, yeah, breathe in, two thirds, As far as feels good. Stepping in. Black dragon. Fists. Left hand, claw, flying across the heart, pause, sweep, all the way up the side of the waist. All that a meridian. Right hand. And sweet. releasing just one of those today. Turn the hips to the left, left heel forwards, toes up. Cross forearms, claws, lift the chest. Tiger pouncing. Maybe floating back foot. 
stepping back far, a long deep lunge. As you release, cross forearms, switch. That's it, folks. Yeah, standing knees bent. Stepping back, go long. It's a long lunge. Yes. And crossing. One more each side. Stepping back. Knee the hands on the knee or the floor. Through center. Into the knee or to the floor. Center and regulating. Check the feet, grounding, rooting. Hands cover the ears, fingertips around the base of the skull, elbows out as you fold, heart, a, third, a third of the way down, seven taps. Rising, two thirds. I keep my spine fairly neutral here. And then it's down as far as feels good. Seven taps, banging on heaven's drum. Rising, releasing, yeah. Link the fingers, and down a third. Let the chin draw in for a moment, and as you straighten the arms, lift the chest, look forwards as extension to the right. To the left. As you find center, drop down a little more, drop the chin. Re straighten the arms, lift the head and the chest to the right. Swinging and wagging the tail. And down as far as feels good now. Lifting last time to the right. And to the left. And back to center. And curling all the way up to stand. Step the feet about hip distance apart. Let's regulate three times. And that sense of settling like the sediment of the lake settles, sinks down, so mind, heart and body feel clear, pristine, fresh, like the lake. Today, let's take the arms out for a final clearing. So if this practice has stirred anything up, imagine you could clear anything that's no longer necessary out of your way.
same movement, different intention, gathering peaceful, balanced energy in chi, filling it in. Lastly, creating an aura of gold light around you, a circle of protection. And then we'll close by taking the dominant hand in a fist, whether you're right handed or left. Dominant hand in the fist. The other hand covers like paper covers rock in front of the heart. We'll take three bows. Firstly, bowing to our past self, the one who survived, the one who made it here. Standing. Secondly, bowing to our present self, the one who stands here together in our community who you are right now, standing, bowing to the future self, who we are becoming moment to moment, practice by practice. Release the hands, so just take a moment to stand calmly, you can close the eyes, Sensing the impact or the afterglow. Okay. Join palms. Thank you, everybody.